I'm going to live out of my car for approximately two months. Meet my brother Shane. Well, you guys know what I'm eating, so. Cheers. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings of the Taste test. Let's go. That's pretty good. Way better than the fries. Fries are kind of trash, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna eat them anyway because I'm freaking starving. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but the crust has more flavor than the cheesecake. I'm definitely gonna fart a lot after this. After yesterday's adventure and finally getting to the campsite that we're staying at just outside of Winnipeg, I started my day off with some athletic greens as well as a matcha. For matcha.com, definitely check out matcha.com. Their matcha is greener than green and sweetly earthy, and in my opinion, the perfect way to start the day. They also keep ancient traditions alive by having their matcha come from 60 of the authentic farms that are left. This is gonna spill <laughs> so much. gotta commit still made a mess though i showered for the first time last night in eight days so my hair is a little bit of a mess i've not washed my hair for 30 days before and it looked beautiful the only reason i washed it was because i started getting dandruff build up on my scalp so i recommend going a week or longer maybe even two weeks without washing your hair if you wash your hair regularly just do it trust me your hair will thank you Anyways, good morning guys. Hey, I hope you're having a beautiful damn day and welcome back to another video. That's really hot on my fingers. Let's make some breakfast. Ah, sorry guys. Oatmeal is one of those things where I can really only truly enjoy it on a cool day, on a cold day. And if you can't tell, I'm wearing two sweaters right now. It is a very chilly day in Manitoba. I added some protein powder to my oats as well as a big chunk of dark chocolate because I absolutely love dark chocolate and I don't think I can live a day without some sort of chocolatey oh. element in my life. I added some walnuts and some store-bought granola on top of my oatmeal for some crunch because we need some sort of crunchiness to the sogginess of oatmeal. After that, I hid in my car to stay warm and ate some leftovers. That curry doesn't look very appetizing, but trust me, it tastes delicious and you can get that recipe on my Patreon. For dinner tonight, we're making a big old stir fry with noodles. So I'm throwing in all of the veggies that you just saw me cut up along with a bunch of garlic. And then we let that saute. And then in our jar, we're making our sauce with some miso, some gochujang, some black bean paste, rice vinegar, maple syrup, and I added a couple splashes of water to it as well. We got our noodles in our boiling water and then threw some chickpeas in our stir fry as well for some sort of protein element, you know?
After we got our noodles strained and into our pan, I threw my sauce in there and then plated it up. I ate this entire pan of food, by the way, because I was a hungry girl and it was so freaking delicious, I couldn't not finish it, you know what I mean? After I got a few booty shots of it, I sat in the field and truly just enjoyed eating my food with intention. There's something so valuable about eating your food and just focusing on eating your food. We live a life of so many distractions and if you can just take the time to sit and enjoy a meal, your heart will be so full after. The next day I had lots of energy so I went for a bit of a run and enjoyed the trails that were around my campground and then we had to go check out this smoothie and juice bar which was the only vegan option around within like 45 minutes of where we were staying. But this place was so very cool and they had lots of local artists featured in here as well like these kiwi earrings which are so freaking cool and if they were yellow lemons I would have bought them in a freaking heartbeat. I honestly could have hung out here all day. The vibes in that place were literally impeccable. I got that rosy drink, so it was apple, grape juice, grapefruit juice, and rosemary. Strawberry banana. Mmm. I get like mine. a little hint of rosemary in mine, and it's like so. I don't know what's in mine, but taste it. It tastes different yeah. than like a strawberry banana. It tastes like healthier i don't know it tastes yeah because bad. you probably get strawberry banana smoothies from like mcdonald's yeah yeah or booster juice that's not <laughs> real stuff <laughs> mm. Ooh, very fair like 10 out of 10. and i also got a coffee with some oat milk as well coffee is impeccable like the best coffee i've had since day one yes like times a million mm. Day 10 found the best coffee. Day 10, best <laughs> coffee. <laughs> no, it tastes healthy. It tastes healthy, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try mine? No, you got like a bunch of weird stuff in your eyes, don't No, you? it's not that weird. Yeah. No, just try it, you'll like it. Oh, oh. It's good. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Um, can I do the tofu scramble? Um, I am a vegan, just so you're aware. No problem. Hey, do you want your tofu with it on the crispier side? Yes, I'd love that. I will add baked beans. Can I add some like, I was like sitting in between that one and then this like dragon bowl thing that you have. Could I get some like julienne carrots and like cucumbers like thrown on there too? Does it have toast? Are you yeah, 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 let's do that. Could I add some avocado to it too? I'm like, I'm all for like a big bowl right now. I just want everything. Sounds delicious, actually. Beautiful. <laughs> My body and my taste buds were pretty happy after this meal. I had a decent amount of protein from the tofu and the beans, as well as lots of fresh veggies thrown in here too, but it was packed full of flavor. And sometimes when a restaurant doesn't have exactly what you desire, make it your own, have fun with it, ask to change it up. And most of the time they'll say yes. Pro tip to being a vegan, <laughs> make your own meals at a restaurant. Okay. Well, you want to grab one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I get a glass of your Cab Franc. Uh, do you have like options between like ounces for your wine? Yeah, it's only six I really need to buy sunglasses. Ooh, that's what I should buy here. Mm. 
That's hard to breathe. But I know that's hard to breathe. You know what it I mean? really is. This is so cool. I'm not sure what you guys got going on on the internet right now, but if you're thinking about creating a website, then Squarespace is the way to go. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from, and then you can make it your own. And that's exactly what I did. I picked a template that I thought was already beautiful and then made it unique to myself, changing up the color scheme, changing up the layout a little bit, and just really creating it to match what I need it to do for me and my website. And for me, that meant a simple format for people to easily access all of the recipes that I'm throwing up on my website. Whether you've got a full-blown e-commerce business or you're just creating content, using Squarespace will help you make it your own. Again, head over to squarespace.com and start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. So a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and truly supporting me on this adventure. After the fun little adventure that I had with my brother at the Fork Market, I then met up with Christina or T or Tina, whatever you want to call her. She's got a million nicknames, but she's at Evolving with T on Instagram, and I absolutely love her and adore her. We've been friends from Instagram for years, so finally meeting her in person was just such a delight. Yeah. Have we made progress? Yeah. Yeah. I almost said no. I was like, no. Did we talk about it? And I'm like, yeah, we did. Okay, so we're going to do the olive plates. Um, does it come with all uh, no. No. Can we get that? Yeah, like, do you want, like, if you get, like, the baguette, like, the baguette is, like, bread with balsamic uh, oil. Do you want, like, that kind of thing? Like, yeah. Like, oil? Yeah. 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 Balsamic oil and, yeah, if you can just add balsamic vinegar to the yeah, olive oil and or put it on the side or something. Yeah, like we can, yeah, the olive oil on that is just, like, kind of drizzle on it, but we can, like, oh. probably just do it. Can we do like, like a, both on the side, like yeah. olive oil and balsamic on the yeah. side? Yeah, like mixing yeah. it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Do a yeah. little dippy dip, you know? Like a... Yeah, can I, can I have some side of cucumbers yeah, as well? Sure. Okay, oh, cucumbers. and then we're gonna do the mushroom pizza. Mm -hmm. And is there any way that I can just get regular cheese on one half? I'm not vegan. I don't know if we can do like half and half. We okay. don't do half and half. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So then we're just gonna do. You just don't want the vegan cheese. Yeah. Part. Just so we'll just do the mushroom pizza, just like no cheese. No cheese. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No regular cheese. No vegan cheese. Yeah. Just. Just nothing. Just yeah. nothing. Do you just want it at the same time, or do you want it? Um, olive plate first. Yeah, we'll do the olive plate first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. After we figured out our order, we got our baguette. Lots of delicious olives. Some of these olives were like an inch and a half big. They were the biggest olives that I've ever seen in my life, but they were so freaking delicious. And then a little bit after that, our pizza came out, lots of mushrooms and some sort of like pesto-y basil, olive oil, something drizzled on top. It was absolutely delicious. I've never ate half of this piece, but... <laughs> Pizzas made in a fire oven or a stone oven should be the only pizzas that exist on this planet. I swear to God, once you have one, there's no chance that you can go back. Unless it's homemade pizza, that's a different story. But if you're gonna go out for pizza, go out for the right type of pizza, okay? And really enjoy yourself. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna get the ginger spice. Um, could we do a little more mango and a little less strawberry though? Can I get a coffee too? Yeah. yeah. Like as well as a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lightning stricken cow. Well, you might like it. Try. <laughs> no, not ginger, you. Okay, so we weren't feeling very adventurous today. We went back to the same smoothie place because it was freaking delicious. And then we went back to the fork market as well. Although, this was a new adventure. The burger, I mean. <laughs> what is that? Mustard. It's not mustard. Yeah, it is. Vegan mustard? Sweeter. Dijon mustard. <laughs> Do you believe me now?
places it's all behind you and to add to the lack of adventure on this day i had leftovers from yesterday's breakfast let's make some mushroom and miso noodles decent amount of oil in our pan garlic and mushrooms in goes the noodles now let's make the most important part of this recipe the flavorful sauce bagel scoop of miso drizzle of maple syrup a few splashes of rice vinegar <laughs> chili flakes to taste a few splashes of our water work 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 some more work it's all the time a little taste test perfect in goes our brussels sprouts i recommend giving them a good rinse after you're done cooking them but i can can't in goes our noodles sauce it's time to eat so we're just stopped at McDonald's right now. I got a medium-sized black coffee. I'm gonna add my own milk to it because McDonald's still hasn't caught on to the fact that people don't like normal milk anymore. Not all people, but you know what I mean. I also got a plain sesame seed bagel because that's all you can really eat at McDonald's when you're a vegan, apparently. I got nothing on it, as you see here. Got some leftover jam from one of the places that we went to eat. I'm just gonna freaking the really fancy one. The really fancy jam. We're gonna do a little bit of this. And I also have some leftover mustard from the burger place that I went to yesterday. So we're just gonna throw this on top too. We're not putting them together. The two halves are separate. Just so you guys are aware, I'm not that crazy. It's like sweet mustard. We gonna try it? No, I hate mustard. Is it? Oh, it's extra ego. <laughs> I, I hate mustard. Oh, it's pretty good. Just get both of our ears in the picture. All right, well, you guys know what I'm eating, so. Cheers. Beyond Meat Burger, no cheese, no mayo, with onion rings. Can I get a Beyond Meat Burger? Sometimes when you're on the road, you can't always eat luxuriously. You have to eat what's available to you. And our cooler is shoved in the back of everything. And I did not have access to it as I really never do when we're on the road. So lots of veggie burgers from a and have been eaten over the last couple weeks. I also munched on a banana a little bit after that and many Oreos, mint Oreos to be exact, because I was craving mint chocolate and I could not find anything other than mint Oreos. <laughs> that was vegan. Canada's Dead Sea Lake. Canada's Dead Sea Lake. As much as this adventure was supposed to be a me thing, I am so beyond grateful that my brother joined me for this because honestly, we didn't spend a lot of time growing up together. So being able to spend a lot of time with him over the course of these few weeks has been so heartwarming and fun and beautiful and silly and goofy and just a great, great experience that I will never forget. <laughs> This is mango mint. Sweet, a little minty, oily, nice. I got you. And this is the Mediterranean. Man, you might change me. This food's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is better to stay. Oh, that's a lot. get up here but getting down all right well i guess you're getting the first pick and then we can just pause and take a good moment okay if you can do this because i'm small and agile yes
To be honest, I'm getting pretty sick of eating fast food. Um, I feel like I haven't ate properly in days. Last night's dinner was nice, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Like the grain bowl that I ordered was a garden salad with like a tiny little bit of rice on top basically. And um, <laughs> just, I mean, I got myself a smoothie and I'm going to shove some protein powder in it. Wish me luck for stirring this. <laughs> This is gonna take me a minute. And the fact is, it's not even that I'm getting sick of eating fast food, it's just getting sick of eating stuff that like, I don't, like it's just not very flavorful, it's not very tasty, it's not really made with any love, like it's just, like the reason I love home cooked food is because it's made with freaking love, it's made with patience, it's made with time, it's, you know, like it's just one of those things where like you feel the intention behind it, and that's what I love about cooking, is like there's just so much intention behind a meal. And not every single meal has to be perfect or you have to put like as much time into as like, you know, making homemade pasta every day or something. But at the same time, like when I take the time to like cut my vegetables and like, you know, saute them and then, you know, add the right sauces I want to add to them and whatever, like that's just, that lights my heart up. And not doing it every day is definitely waning on my mental health. <laughs> oh, I got a mouthful of protein powder. All right, we're getting there. Not bad. All right, level up my coffee now. You need a decent amount of milk because it's not the best coffee, so you know. Milk it down instead of water it down. <laughs> it's been to Morton's, I'll say that. Mm. And now it's time to level up the bagel that we got. It's like Mario, we're getting mushrooms all over the place. So. <laughs> yeah. You need that song. Oh my god. Editing Julia, play that song right now. <laughs> the Mario theme yeah. song. <laughs> Have a little picture of the mushroom pop up on the screen. All right, spicy hummus. When I pulled this knife out, I was like really hoping that someone wouldn't like walk past and I just like have a knife like. They just, in a McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> we could have robbed the hammer truck behind us with it. True. This adventure would have been a lot more interesting. <laughs> On the run. <laughs> Shane, why would you make your sister do that? Wanted money. <laughs> Wanted money. <laughs> leveled up bagel, leveled up smoothie, and leveled up coffee. This kind of shows people you can eat vegan on the road still, you know. You just gotta put in a little effort. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. I wanna hear like a teenager talk with an accent. I want to hear the slang in Saskatchewan. <laughs> you think they still say fire? Yo, it's fire, man. Oh, okay. oh, no. It's a fire bagel, fam. <laughs> Some Toronto accent, Some Toronto, Toronto slang. Uh -uh. So, yo, we're going to be touching Toronto just. Don't you worry about me, baby. My uncle and my step aunt live in Edmonton, so we met up with them and they showed us around the West Edmonton Mall. I'd never been there, but cool fact, my mom used to work there many, many years ago as a lifeguard in their water park. So that's a pretty fun thing about my mom, I guess. <laughs> So out of 10, what do you give it? You want another bite first? Yeah. Take one more bite before you judge. 6.9. That's a pretty high rate. It's good to be and have more vegan I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it. If you could do me a quick favor and hit that like button and the subscribe button, it truly helps my channel grow and reach more people. So I truly appreciate it. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your damn day and I'm sending you all so much love. Mwah!